Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today with a really interesting piece of software which is called VideoProc Vlogger. Now this is a free video editor up to 4K at 120 frames per second which is really awesome and it's not easy to find. So today I'm going to share with you as fast as I can some of the most interesting things that I did find on the software, which by the way, available for macOS and available for Windows as well. If you are looking for a Windows 10 or Windows 11 budget key, don't forget to check out BNH software, which is a platform that we have been using for the past few months to activate our Windows computers and also have tested office 2021 so i will leave a link down below just in case you want to check that out now i will also leave a link down below for video proc vlogger which it's completely free so more important than me showing you how to do and what we can do is that you try it for yourself because there are some things and regarding the title will be something like an alternative to Adobe Premiere but I do find right over here some things that are similar to Final Cut Pro and some of them even superior and Final Cut as you guys know is my favorite editing tool. This software is GPU accelerated so this means that the computer that we have will perform better or worse depending on the hardware. Now I've got a MacBook Pro, I've tested and they also have a tool that will test our hardware and I also did use my Mac Studio and also a Windows computer with the NVIDIA RTX 3060 or 3060 Ti, I'm not really sure and it works really nice on all of them. The difference that I see is that it renders faster on, on a desktop with a stronger hardware than on a laptop. But even on my MacBook Pro, I'm able to edit. Now, in terms of the software itself, free to download. So just go to Video, Video Proc Vlogger website, which the link is down below and download it for free. Try it out on your Windows, on your Mac. Install, it's really easy. There's one thing that I did love, which is the tutorial area. I don't remember the last time that I saw tutorial area for a software such a complete video library as this one. So it has a lot of stuff right over there, a lot more than I'm going to share with you here today. So I would suggest if you are testing out the software and you want to learn a little bit more and have some ideas, then there are a lot of stuff right over there. Now, once we have the software right over here, it's really easy to use. We just need to import our footage by pressing the plus button where it says add a video. Once we have the footage that we want, of course, we can later on add a few more. We just need to start dragging the uh, files to our timeline and then start building our project. I did build a project on the One Wheel Pint X, which was a really cool project that I did a few days ago and I did start important to the timeline really easy to edit cut the basic stuff that we have right over here so you can see by some images how easy it is we also have the option to put in some basic text if we want to put a lower third or a title or something like that and we can bring um, also audio I did bring a music track so that I could put it right over here and in terms of the audio there are two situations um, that are really interesting one of which is to edit the audio regardless if it's the video audio or the music audio it's really easy we have a tab right over here which will give us the uh, volume of the timeline and that is really really useful but we can edit also individually the parts that we want to cut in terms of the music I want some parts lower some parts higher and that is just really easy to use unlike some other pieces of software which is not that easy for example Final Cut Pro is not as easy it doesn't give me as many options besides that there is also a great addition right over here which is the audio editor or the advanced editor which will give us a lot of options honestly more options than i need on my daily basis but for someone that will work with audio this will be really really good there is one tool that i did enjoy which it will analyze the audio and it will put in a visual manner some markers that i can use if i want to match my video with the audio beats and that was one of my favorite things i just pressed analyzed and it gave me all the markers that was really awesome now keeping with our editing besides the audio we will find here a tab 
with the transitions. So if you want to use transitions, you will find a lot of transitions right over here, starting with the simplest ones and more complex transitions. So this will depend on our taste. I did try a few, as you guys can see right over there. Really, really cool. And then besides the titles, we also have the effects which we can apply. And in a really easy manner, we will have an effect that will give us a boost to our image, which is really, really cool. Now, in terms of the interface, you already seen how I did my project right over here. And before we export the file, which I already did, actually, I can show you the export there. I did export the last one on my Mac Studio, I think, and I did record the screen. It was fast to export the video, but this will depend on your machine. Now that we have exported, now let's take just a look here at the interface, which is really simple uh, to use, but I want to point out a few things right over here. So this is the navigation panel with the transitions, titles, effects, and so on and so forth. We have our media, we have the timeline, we have um, the overlays that we want. One of the things probably that I would like to see is I'm used to use the overlays on top of the timeline, but this is a matter of just getting familiar and we will have the overlays right over here. Now, if you see when I select a video clip or a part of a video clip, I will have here on my right side the advanced options. And this is just great because if I want to change something basic like the opacity and want to put another video beneath I can if I want to change my exposure or my contrast really quickly and the saturation if I want to put it black and white or if I want to go right over here great it also has this advanced editor which will give me something similar to some LUTs color LUTs that we use on other uh, software so I can just come here and choose what I want to use in terms of color for this clip we have quite a few right over here so as you can see it's just a matter of choosing what we want and in a matter of seconds we will have the preset that we want and we, of course we can adjust also right over here in terms of the temperatures and I'm playing around with some crazy colors but we can do a lot with and if we keep on moving besides the color we have some tools which are really really useful now in final cut for example which i love it doesn't have this i have to do any everything manual but sometimes i need to do this and this is just great just a click bam i can flip it and of course i'm using the one wheel pint so probably this would not be the best because the word would be the other side, but is really, really nice. We also can play around with the volume right over here. This is the general volume. And then we have the reverse play. With one click, I will reverse the clip, which is cool. Then we have the play speed. This was one of the things that I did love. In terms of the speed, I can increase and decrease. There are a lot of presets, but I can use custom. And unlike Final Cut, which I will have to edit if I want keyframe by keyframe here really, really quickly. I can increase the speed and then draw a curve and then slow it down and then ramp it up and I can do a lot. So this was one of my favorite things as well in terms of the speed. And of course, we can also do linear speed. Just press four times and it will give me four times. But the thing that I did love was the non-linear editor, which was really great. And then we have some options like lens distortion correction, like if we are using a GoPro or some other camera that distorts the lens, then it will zoom and crop really quickly. So there are a lot of features right over here that I would suggest for you to check it out once you have your software. And then going to the tutorials area, you'll have some other ideas and great. Now let me just check here on the audio. When we press audio, as you could see, it did change the options that we have. So we have mute, we have things dedicated for the audio. And as we have seen before, we have the audio editor with a lot of options right over here, which honestly more than I need. But great for those that are exploring the video editing and really need advanced options on the audio area. And guys, basically this is it. I did discover the software a few days ago. I've been playing around with it. 
and it is really really cool and by the way if you try the software and you edit the video and you want to share with us your opinion feel free to leave it on the comments down below including if you want to publish a video and leave a link for that video so that we can check it out hope that the video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you guys on the next one